outside. Nalani. What's up, what to do with you guys? It's Shade back at it again with another video. Now, today, you guys, I'm going to be talking about speech delay because my son has speech delay. He's two years old. So, um, speech delay is where your child is not using the expected words that he should be using at his age. For instance, my son, he's two years old, and he should be using between 200 and... 350 350 words however he's only used he only is using about three words right now so he's like very 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 much delayed so how i think hey mama how i think this all occur is okay so i got a phone call um my son had swallowed a um bottle cap and he almost okay yeah so he swallowed a bottle cap um my kid's father had his hand um in his mouth holding the bottle cap because he went outside calling for help and the paramedics came and he still had it they was telling him like do not let the cap go so he had his hand in his mouth holding on to the cap then the paramedics came um they took over and hold on baby they took over. He eventually had passed out. They had to bring him back to life. So he, um, with that being said, to sum it up, he had lost. Um, so when you lose oxygen to the brain, you that's how he developed his speech delay. Because um, I took him to the doctor before everything was going like he was he was right where he needed to be at the time. So, um, I don't know. That's what I was thinking. After he had swallowed a bottle cap, of course, he was suffering. From, his throat was sore. He couldn't eat none for a while. Um, oh, he was just going through it. My little baby. But, um, yeah, I went to the doctor also and got him evaluated for so the doctors evaluated him, him for autism and they said he did not have it based on um, the list. He doesn't walk on his tippy toes. He communicate with, um, not communicate, he play with others like his siblings and other kids. He has no problem playing with others. What else? Let me, let me look at my um, list that I had wrote down, you guys. Okay, so... For behavior, it says a social interaction. He has social interaction because he reacts with other kids and also um, his siblings, of course. Um, eye contact. He give eye contact when he wants to. Then repetitive um, movement. He doesn't do any of that. So I guess one would be like hand flapping. He doesn't do any of that at all. However, he does like to um, stack toys, line them up in a row and stuff like that. What else was it? Um, it said self-harm. I didn't know that one. And speech delay. So um, he does have severe speech delay. So that's one of the reasons why we had tested him in the first place. Um, hold on. Let me see. So another one was the development, which was the speech delay, which we already talked about. And the cognitive was um, problems paying attention. Now, um, no, that's like iffy because, um, for instance, if we are in the library, there's like a play area where he, it's like so much things you can do. They got blocks, they got things that you can build um bugs stuff you can put on the window they have all of that stuff so he dibbling dabbling everything however um when the birth to three lady was there playing with him like under the couch playing peekaboo he sat there for a long period of time without moving so i'm like mm. but yeah we'll get to that Anyways, we'll get to that part. Hey. 
And sometimes, you know, since he can't get the words out, he wants... Oh, God, look at this camera. So he can't get the words out that he wants to say. He gets frustrated and cry and throw tantrums because he's not able to communicate the way he can't get the words out. So that's like a behavioral thing. He, um, well, a behavioral frustration because he can't communicate what he want to say. Right, baby? So, um... I the doctors had sent me up with some resources and um I had got in touch with the birth to three program so they work with people or kids, anyone with any kind of delays. For my baby Pacific right here, my handsome man here, um he has he's they work with him with speech delay. So uh, we've been working with him for about six months. Um, I have seen some improvement. However, he still is just using um, the three words. So here is a sheet. And I'm just going to give you a little. Aid. Basically, what they do is, um, like I said, help. They help um, people, kids, any kind of kids with any kind of speech delay. So we meet um, twice a week. And um, just to check in with one another, with one another, she gave me advice on things I can um, do with Nair. So, for instance, um, here's a sheet of paper that we usually use. Okay, so for instance, it says what's going well. What's going well with Nair is his invitation. So he invites me what I do. Oh, you okay? And that's another way of communication oh. now you're one um, two three y'all want to do it one two three <laughs> he don't want to do it right now you guys oh. he's not ready so basically i'll go one two three four five and he uh Put up his little fingers with me and then I uh, clap like yay you know to give him um praise on him doing it and he he loves when I do that so that's something and then what else it says between now and the next time we meet choose the following activities uh, what adult will do so what I would do and what child would do so, for instance, activities we put stimulation, um, reducing activities. Wait, hold on. Okay, I, I can't really read that handwriting. So, basically, um, instead of being, okay, going into a quiet area and then just me and him, like, one, <gasps> good job, two, Yay! Good job! Yay, mama! What? Teeth? Yeah. Teeth. Where your teeth at? Teeth? Good job! Teeth? Good job, mama. So this is what a she would look like. Basically, us coming up with a plan. So what's going well with my child? activities that he is doing what the adult will do which is me the mother and what the child will do which is my son so the next is i mean so on that next visit we will talk about what we have done they also suggested sign language and trying to cut down screen time which is um yeah i mean you know, sometimes that's kind of hard. For instance, when my kid's father is gone or my kids is in school um, and I need to cook or do laundry, I put that on TV on and that'll keep them quiet. But that's not always good to do. So I'm definitely trying to limit the screen time for sure. Um, and then if you do have to put on something educational, like me, I'm putting on um, Rachel. Yeah, Rachel is um 
she she's very very good um or coco melon <laughs> or gracie corner but rachel is uh, definitely good for learning so another thing that i have learned was like don't just call his name like nair 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 come here nair 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 be like nair pause so um pause reward behavior reward behavior so and then um observe what he is doing at that time and then um also how are they reacting so reward behavior and then observe what he's doing at the time and how he's reacting yes yeah he's very good at imitating though and you know using ah. gestures he will copy he one second yes he's he has shown so much improvement um so for instance um i took him into the store last year a long time ago took him in the store we was going grocery shopping b and the other kids have four kids and a one two year old and then i have a nine and 13 year old we all went to the store he had a fit because i put him into the um into the cart and he was not having it i had to leave the store so i talk i was telling um the lady from the birth to three program <laughs> about my experience and she gave me some ideas like um how about you give him um his favorite toy or give him something to watch <coughs> give him something to watch or his, his snacks his favorite snacks along, and that's what exactly what i did and he he was quiet he was focused on his little tv show eating his snacks and that worked out very well and now i can take him into the grocery store with me and before now i'm able to walk with him go places and also um another thing he was doing um that he wasn't six months ago was um he now can put on his clothes i give him his coat he'll put his arms through the um he'll put his arms through his coat coat put his pants on and things like that it might seem small but that's like a huge accomplishment for him so i'm just so proud of him okay so another thing that he does my baby does since he can communicate is he'll point to things that he won't or he'll grab my hand and bring me towards um whatever it is he wants so so there he'll bring me a whole thing of juice in his cup like basically saying um here you go i want some juice so i'm like not here you want some juice <laughs> so i try to communicate right there any chance you can um find a way to communicate with your child an opportunity use it because yes and also use um whenever they're playing with your child is playing with toys um use that as a time to use communication or talk with your child or you can play red light green light or stop go or bounce the ball house ball or ball you sign language or um more wait is that more more with two, with two hands <laughs> um what else can you do um i've been playing card games with um trying to get him hold on nalani for instance this toy right here we can be like push the button open and then you can be like, close. Open. Close. Or be like, or be like, hold on one second. Be like, up, down. <laughs> 
So I don't know if I told y'all already, but at age three, once you turn three in March, the birth to three program is going to stop and he's going to be entered and he's going to be going to um, like another school and getting speech classes. It's kind of like a pre-K, but pre-K for kids with a delay, all kind of delays basically and um he also is about to start taking speech classes so i'm excited for that he just had his um evaluation so um what's that in speech class i know she was saying they're gonna be talking playing using i mean just doing different things um for his speech to get him talking so i'm so excited about that and i just can't wait for it that to start because they said they seen many people like Nair and they came you know along so just a matter of time so very excited about that and i cannot wait okay you guys i hope i didn't leave anything out if i did i would put it put add a clip in okay uh, this video is kind of getting a little it's kind of getting too long so um in the next video i will be telling y'all what i'm doing right now um to help with his speech delay so yes i ordered some stuff and yeah I'll see you guys in the next video if you have any questions or if you have any suggestions for me in the comment. Leave it down in the comment section, you guys. So, kind of got my hands tied right now. So, I'm going to have to end this video. Peace.